The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam, never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to Building Construction mode. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning.
Initially, your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Now join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. That's enough for your first rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha.
And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with the logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Thank <laughs> you. 